Hello, everybody. Welcome. A long last. Yeah, we have our grand finals this evening. Loving that new layout. Looking absolutely amazing. Big, big thanks to Dot Circle for getting that sorted at the last moment. But yeah, we have a big one. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Yeah, we have had a, an SMW tournament going on for about four months at this point. Well, about three and a half months. But hopefully after tonight, we're going to feel like it's all been worth it. Um, well, it, it has been worth it, but it's going to be even more worth it after this. Um, yeah, the last time that we saw Retro Bob and Louis go up against each other was actually in the winners' finals. And those three races came down to less than 1.4 seconds. So yeah, you were talking an average of 0.5 seconds difference per race, uh, which is just absolutely incredible. Uh, it, it says a lot about the standard um, that we're seeing at this part of the tournament. And uh, certainly the race times that we've been see seeing from Retro Bob and Louis um, in this last while has been absolutely incredible. Also, welcome everybody. You Paco, what's up? BJW, Sniper, Valero, Pico, Mr. Link, thank you for the biddies. For Megadove, Sniper, TNT, Walk, BK, our wonderful sponsor. Um, Marple, Mike, hopefully I haven't missed anybody. Obviously, Lou and Retro Bob. And yeah, it's, it's gonna be huge. You won't want to miss this. But you're all here, so you're not going to miss it. That's a good thing. Uh, we're going to get this kicked off in about a minute or two. Um, obviously, just giving both guys a bit of time to get ready and make sure they've got everything prepared. Um, yeah, looks like we're getting close. Also, just a reminder, at some point in the proceedings, we're going to have a community race. Uh, you shitty, what's up? Uh, you Truman. Yeah, that it's it's not a it's not a bad bet at all. Uh, actually, about predictions, I just want to point out, uh, as it stands, if Retro Bob takes this whole thing down this evening, our winner of the predictions and a fresh forty-one dollars will be Super Mega Dav. However, if Louis takes down the whole thing, and remember, Louis needs to win twice in a row, uh, then then Shabu's will take down the the prediction bracket. And we'll take that forty-one dollars. You Picante, what's up, Pooja? Yeah, the amount of love that these guys deserve just for getting this far and putting on a show every time is just—it's just incredible. Folks, it looks like we're about to get this started. And we're going to be kicking off in just under 15 seconds. Uh, I want to wish both runners the best of luck. Um, it just feels so right for these two to be in the grand finals. Uh, of course, there were a lot of other big contenders, but the quality that we've seen consistently from these two makes so much sense. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, the last time these guys went head to head, head to head, um, was in the winners' finals. Retro Bob did take up three 0 and even though that sounds like a blowout, um, in total it came down to one point four seconds between all three races, an average of under point five seconds per race. So there wasn't a single race there that we could say with any certainty who was going to win. Um, it was it was definitely the best match we've seen up to this point. Um, and Retro Bob with a sweet 361, very nice. That's some swag. Definitely has to get that shell jump in YI4 now. 
a 361 actually loses a bit of time due to lag unless you get that shell jump. Uh, it's due to the timer being an odd number, which puts 50 on your score. So you'll notice the Reprobob has 27,350. And even though the lag might seem like a sort of nitpicky thing, whenever it's coming down to 0 0.1, 0.2 seconds, it may, it may make the difference, who knows? Yeah, hopefully we won't have too much to say about YI3. Unfortunately, in the losers' finals against Area 51, Lou took a very unfortunate and unexpected death. Managed to take that match back 3-1, however. Both getting a 2.59, as expected. Both are going to be going for shell jumps here. Hopefully they can both make it. Um, I'm not actually sure if we've had a match where both players get the shell jump at the same race. I'm not sure, though. Ooh, both getting pretty close. I think Louis was a bit closer. But neither saving that extra in-game second. NMG is no major glitches, so basically what that means is no orb, no cloud, no credits work. I think that's it covered pretty much. Basically no arbitrary code execution. Okay, I will make the job for the restreamer a bit easier. Once I see Retrobug go through the big red, actually once it fades out from the big red door, I'll let you know. Okay. Or once the boss fight fades in. Retrobug has entered the door, fade in. And both with a very, very nice sticky kill, both using that butt slide method. I think Retro Bob may be a slight bit more optimal there. <laughs> Thunderball, major glitch. I agree. You'll be squared, what's up? Twitch Master. I just want to point out as well, this restream is brought to you by Walk. Big thanks to Walk. Walk has put in so much work. Um, consistently picking up restreams at the last moment. Uh, I would reckon probably done done somewhere between a third and a half of all of the restreams so absolutely incredible thanks so much again so much praise is deserved there also a big component of the speed gaming team who has a lot of experience in this realm okay looking at that flight speed hopefully both can get it i'm not 100 percent sure i think louis good uh, I imagine by this point, Bob is good as well. Yep. Maybe. Hmm. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yo, that's sync. Both getting a 362 in DP1. Can't argue with that. Exactly what you're looking for. Yo, Trebacca, what's up? Uh, I was actually thinking earlier, I don't... Actually, I'm pretty confident that the entire tournament we haven't seen DP1 guy. Is very disappointing, of course. DP1 guy being too cool. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Um, that is massively unfortunate. I. Oh wow. Okay, and not grabbing either of those rainbow blocks either. The Louis has a bit of work to do now, and when I say work is basically just hoping that Bob will give give him some sort of leeway to catch up. Um, who knows, we might see something a bit spicy in Ghost House. Remember, this is Louis we're talking about. Totally within his capabilities. But looks to be going just normal route. Big shout outs to Aaron for blessing us all with those really, really crazy Ghost Houses. I think with a success rate of 3 out of 4, which is just incredible. So in terms of, ra uh, in terms of races between these two, 
this is the biggest difference that we've seen at any point. Um, we'll know after this ghost fight just what the difference is. Louis leaving one of those lie blocks on screen. Possibly just out of a bit of frustration with what happened. Though it is only a five second difference, I, I say it's only a five second difference. Um, which doesn't sound like much, but it is still quite a lot. Whoa! Bob getting that Super M37 smash Ola. Very, very nice zips. Very nice zips from Louie as well. I'm I'm right in saying that, Paco, right? That, that block would create a bit of lag, yeah. I think. Just so I know as well. Okay, slight optimization from uh, Louis there, getting the duck under at the end of Star World 2. Both with a very nice Star World 3. Okay, Bob didn't have great flight speed there, getting a 271. Um, it's not a big deal at all. I didn't actually see what Louie got, but I'm assuming a 272. Okay, so on the restream, got a high 272. You're possibly just talking over half a second there. Okay, both getting that door two flight. Both will also be going for door five damage boost. Okay, Louis just missing the par up there. Bit unfortunate. Okay, room five, we've seen a lot of missed doors. Hopefully we'll be good. Okay, Bob getting that door. Oh, Louis, no! Oh, God, dude. Well, that's gonna make it a bit trickier for Louis. Um, this is, it's been a pretty good lead for Bob. This has also been a really good uh, run for Bob as well. Possibly looking at a 10.42, 10.43, I'm thinking. Anything can happen, of course. We have seen a lot of missed hits in this Bowser fight. So hopefully that won't happen. I'm saying that because I don't want to be responsible for missed hits. Exactly true, Vaka. Yeah, Retro Bob with another very nice ball skip. Um, And Bob is two hits away, one hit away from securing a 1 0 lead on Louis. You big GG's to Bob. Just missing out in that 10 43 was a bit late in the timer anyway.
We're getting a 1044.2, I'm going to say, uh, SDA. Absolutely incredible. Very, very well done. Louis is still getting a 1056 after really horrible things ha happened in DS1, losing Cape um, and all of that. So well done for still pulling off a 1056. Ah, uh, yes, uh, new major glitches. So new orb, new cloud, new crab swarp. Um, <laughs> yeah, Lee. Okay, that was a pretty spicy first race. Um, that was a lot of fun. Seeing a lot of unusual stuff happen, at least based on what we've already seen. But we're going to be back in about a minute or two. We're going to get this next race underway. Um, maybe Walk can play one song between them. Uh, I don't know, or maybe we can just let the credits roll. I will leave it up to Walk, but we'll be going in about two or three minutes. Alrighty, folks, welcome back. Should be getting started pretty soon. Now, unfortunately, this was a bit early for Mooney, but hopefully we'll see a bit of Mooney later. Possibly. 
it is a possibility for sure. So another reminder, um, the, uh, the winner of this, uh, so basically the person who takes down the whole thing wins a fresh $400. That's pretty nice. Um, also, I mean, the more important thing takes down the title as well. The title of 11 X New Major Glitches Champion of the World. Um, speaking about it, of the world, just to point out for anybody who doesn't know, Louis currently has the world record for 11 legs at New Major Glitches. Um, 10.39 first, sub 10.40 that we've seen. Yes, real American dollars. Super M37 Cashola. Okay, that pun was terrible. I'll see myself out of commentary. Okay, looks like we're about to go pretty soon here. Retro Bob desperately trying to get that uh, <laughs> wall jump, key switch jump, yum. Got a wall jump, got a P-switch jump, didn't get the yump though. Yeah, no worries, B-squared. Um, it's been a pleasure. I enjoy it every time I do it. Uh, if you want even more sick commentary, even more low-quality mic uh, commentary, I'm doing a bunch for SMB3 Warpless. Um, that's on the Speed Gaming Network. It's such a pleasure working with them every time. It's such a professional operation. Um, I hope I have a lot to learn from working with them. You, Rob, what's up? But it looks like we're about to get started here, and we're underway. Good luck to both runners again. Bob with a 10.44 last time. Louis with a bit of an outlying time with 10.56. Something did go a bit wrong. Hopefully, we'll have a closer match this time. Just a reminder, the last time that these guys went head to head was uh, in the winners finals. And those three races that they did came down to less than 1.4 seconds in total. So less than half a second per match. It's absolutely incredible. I reckon the majority of what we've got to see is yet to come. Um, I feel that the rest of these races probably will be a lot closer. Okay, new 361 for Bob this time. Again, there isn't really a bunch you could say about YA2 and YA3. Hopefully that's always going to be the case. Um, both getting 259, no problem. Pretty much as expected. You and Bob with the first shell jump of the match. Big congrats to Bob on the shell jump. So Bob is going to be the slightest bit ahead at the moment. Very, very nice. 
It's always really special to see a mid-air shell jump. Okay, both getting 281s in room one of Biggie's. Um, both were a bit sluggish on the fences, like just a little bit. Still comfortably getting a 281 though. Exactly, that shell jump practice. Very, very worth it. Both finishing up with those lovely Iggy pills again. Pretty much exactly synced to my end. Um, I think Louis might have made up the slightest bit of time in room one. Biggies. Not 100% sure, it just looked a bit more optimal. Uh, obviously, that shell jump in YI4 would help Bob's case. There's definitely... Uh, did Bob lose a bit of time on, uh, on progressing the cutscene there? No, maybe not, actually. Okay, so light speed probably is going to be the deciding factor of who's going to be ahead coming out of here. Louis, com well, both comfortably getting 362 is very nice. Okay, thankfully Louis gets the shell this time. We don't get to see that weird sort of kip cancel thing that happened last time. Very, very unfortunate. Ooh, and Bob keeping on to the sh or keeping hold of the shell there, getting a 258, which is just so nice in a race scenario. Louis unfortunately losing it just on that last fish. Which is incredibly unfortunate. That's definitely don't want to be losing it on the last fish. Okay, we're seeing that difference again in strats in room two of Ghost House. Um, very interesting. I think it was possibly Umar that came up with that strat that Louie did. I'm not 100% sure, or at least I saw Umar talk about it at least. Actually, a good reminder, I suppose, whenever it comes to talking about strats, if there's anybody that's interested in getting into this game and is sort of wondering about an avenue, how to get into it, where to start learning, uh, the link I just posted in chat is a very, very good resource. Uh, pretty much everything that you need to know is broken down level per, or level by level. But it's time for zips. Hopefully, it'll go well. Oh, oh, and... Bob going for right hand side this time, that's the first time we've seen that in about five races. But unfortunately missing second zip. Um, that is going to make a big difference in this race. Yeah, if Bob had got that second zip, probably would have saved a bit of time over Louis. Louis had a bit of trouble grabbing the key. Not much of an issue, but still enough probably. Oh, Umar stole it. Well, you know, it's basically yours then.
So yeah, by the looks of things, there's only a difference of one second. This could definitely flip back and forth, potentially. Um, and again, even though it's only a second, a second doesn't sound like much, it's still probably enough for the majority of times for Louie to feel quite comfortable. We'll see, though. Ooh, Monkey Ball, that's a very challenging speedrun. Hey, Louie with a 272. Uh, Bob, um, yeah, Bob would have gained the slightest bit of time there. Okay, going into front door, Louis had a bit of trouble last time. Now, I imagine we're not going to see a repeat of that. Grabbing that, the power up, get the room 5 damage boost. Yep, both looking pretty good. Looking pretty optimal. Oh, and again, Louis with... Oh my god. Um, Louis again having trouble with grabbing Cape in room 5. That is so, so unfortunate. Oh, and just when it matters as well, Bob pulling off a beautiful dark room. Uh, if he had missed one of those cape pumps, we're probably seeing this go back to even, but wow, that is so unfortunate. Um, I mean, I'm not sure how, how Louis is feeling, but that's going to be hard to accept. Um, I'm hoping he can put it behind him. Definitely. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Barb Come On probably has to be one of the best emotes on Twitch. Other than Super M37 Smashua, of course, that, that goes without snapping. But uh, Bob probably sang a bit of a bit of a sigh of relief. Um, because this was looking firmly in Louis' court. Dabs with the combo though, wow. Okay, both of the very optimal ball skip. Well, Bob is two hits away from making this 2-0. This may be a pressure two hits, but still very much a favorite uh, finish up here. This has been another good run for, for Bob, pretty much with the exception of Star World 1. And... I mean... That's... it's just mind-blowing. 10.43 with those zips? Like, why? Why is that possible? That was such a good run. Such a good run from both of them. Um, very depressing room five, I have to say. I just... It isn't doors, it, it's something else stupid. Uh, it's gonna take a big personality for Louis to... <laughs> Sorry, retiming came up there and I was about to say, wait, are we retiming this? Um. I suppose we, we can retime it, but not right now, just for uh, just to know for certain, I guess. Um, wow. It's just incredible. So Bob is just one race away from taking the title. It, it's just incredible. Uh, I just can't express how how impressed I've been with the consistent quality. It's been absolutely mind blowing. It really, really has.
also, I suppose, while we're on the subject, Super Megadav is one victory away from taking down the prediction bracket and that $41 prize money for the predictions. Uh, if Lou was to come back and win this and take the title, uh, Chabos would take the prediction title or prediction bracket and win the prize money. Also, another reminder, the winner of this takes $400 in cash prize money. Uh, I believe second place takes $200. I'm actually just going to double check that because I've forgotten that a couple of times. Yeah, second place gets $200. Our third place uh, was Area 51. He took down $150, which is just very nice. Also, I'd made a point of saying earlier, so coming into this tournament, um, $1,041 was donated by BK uh, for prize money, and that $1,041 was based on the world record at the time. The world record was ten forty-one. So I'm wondering, do we owe BK $2? Does BK get a, a refund of $2 since world record has been uh, beaten? All right, folks, I don't want to keep... Oh, okay, um, just one second. Hopefully this won't be an issue. Uh, <laughs> oops. I'll just be right back. We're having one small technical issue at the moment. You, Furious, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Actually, during this uh, tournament, Furious has hosted us three times, each time with like 80 viewers, which is just, it was so incredible. It was a lot of, a lot of fun seeing everybody come in. Always so much hype from that community. Um, So that's a 10.44 and 10.43 for Bob. I mean, could you dream up a better set of results? He's got to be feeling pretty happy with himself right now. <laughs> no $2 refund, though, dear. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get started pretty soon. Uh, we're probably just going to see the credits roll out in Bob's side. Uh, in the meantime, actually, I'm going to get a drink. My mouth's pretty dry. So be right back. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, are you ready for the fresh drink ASMR? Oh, yeah. Yeah, BK it was pretty funny as well because whenever our well, whenever we got word of the announcement, Aaron was like, "Yeah, I thought he was joking." So definitely uh, a big thank you again. Everyone really, really appreciates it. It certainly blew me and Dobbs away. Uh, we were so surprised. So yeah, big thank you again. Yeah, I've heard some pretty magical stuff about New York pizza. I mean, I suppose that's a bit of an understatement, uh, I guess, but... Um, okay, I, I know I've said this between every race pretty much, but another reminder, after this race, we're gonna have a community race. So just a heads up, also where we've got this match underway, of course. Um, Hopefully, again, there won't be too much to say about YI2 and YI3. Yeah, there's going to be a community race pretty much, I would say about 10 or 15 minutes after we have a result. Um, if Louis wins, if Louis takes down the whole thing, we are going to need a break between the, the, the two matches. But we're probably just going to do that in the middle. And then if we need to do another match on another day, fine. No problem. We could even have another race. But as it stands, we're planning to have a community race probably with somewhere between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern. That was the estimation I gave in the SMW Discord. Okay, so last time Retrobob got the shell jump, Louis didn't get the shell jump. Let's see what we're looking at this time. Oh, too hot. Very nice. Bob getting another shell jump. Um, I believe each time Louis didn't get the left right. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, very nice again for Bob getting the shell jump. The shell jump, it's just a case of, oh, you thought Bob was good? He's even better. <laughs> I thought Louis was maybe going to go for underball or something there. I wasn't 100% sure. Um, he might have possibly been tempted. And just a reminder as well, in Louis's last race, he got a 10.41, a 10.42, and 10.43. Now, not in that order. I believe the best one was actually his last. But just be aware that if there's anybody that's going to bring this back, it's going to be Lou. Um, by no means is Bob thinking that this is over, because it's not. Although, having said that, you know, it has to be said, Bob is one hell of a favourite right now. Been playing well, that's got to do a lot for his confidence. Um, and when things are just going your way, it, it it makes a big difference with your mindset. Conversely, Louis, I, I hope, I hope he can find it from somewhere within to just ignore those last two races. But you know, he's been he's been looking very good.
Okay, both entering dry room, both grabbing the shell, no problem. Hopefully you can hold on to the shell right to the end. Last time Bob got a 258. Okay, Bob had to make an adjustment there, otherwise he would have bonked. Oh, very nice. Bob's still getting a 258, that's incredible. Whoa, Bob actually was a bit, um, bit far to the left there on that second dip. I wasn't honestly sure, but that was a really nice set of zips from both. Yeah, this is incredibly close right now. Again, these things are to be expected between these two. Again, their last matchup, over three races in total came down to less than 1.5 seconds. 0.5 seconds per race. Three in a row as well, which is just very, very impressive. So it does look like this is incredibly close. Um, I think Louis might be marginally ahead. I'm not sure. Ooh, okay. The Bob will have made up a slight amount of time there. Just in Star World 3, it went slightly better. Star World 3 as well, it's one of those levels that can very easily be overlooked. It seems so trivial, but whenever it comes to this level, it's very, very important. Yeah, I'm just going to put it out there. This might be one of the tensest front doors that we will see for a while. Uh, just best of luck to both runners. This is insanely close right now. And what a horrible time for missed doors to pop up their ugly head. You guys, a man was up. This dark room is going to be important. <gasps> and with that, we might have just seen a very, very slight change of lead. Who knows right now? Dots, I hope you're there. This is Retime City. We may have to take a quick swing by. <laughs> yeah, you guys have thought it was over. 
No. Um, this is this is super close. Insta hits are going to be very important. We are 30 seconds away from the conclusion of this race, and as it stands, I'm uncertain of who's ahead. This is insanely, insanely close. Keeping a very close eye on these timers. Yeah, that, that's pretty much tied on my end. Uh, both getting a mid 10.42. So yeah, we're going to know very, very soon whether this is a 3-0 or 2-1 scenario. Big, big congrats. I will be back in one minute. Okay, welcome back everybody. Just had to do one thing very quickly there. But uh, yeah, for sure, uh, I assume the dots would probably be on the retime. But yeah, folks, if this is our last race, what a race to end it on. Um, this is probably the closest race that these two have had. And let me remind you, their previous races have come down to 0.3 seconds. 0.6 and 0.5, I believe. I think I said uh, I believe a couple of times there. <laughs> um, yeah, for a split second, I was thinking that Miss Door at the end of Room 2 was going to be the clincher for Bob, and then Bob just has a bit of trouble with flight speed at the end of Dark Room, which, I'll be honest, it just seems like such a risky strat for the very, very small amount of time save. I mean, you're talking frames, pretty much. You, the mighty wear, what's up? Howdy, howdy. Um, so this has just been incredible. Uh, again, if this is our last race, there couldn't have been a much better way to finish it. Um, I'm going to say to Dots, now, Dots said that he had a bit of noise in the background and all that stuff. If you could join chat for this result, like join voice, it'd be appreciated. Otherwise, send it on to me. I think we need sort of a, a drum roll for this. Um, you know, that hype announcing. But I, I'm sure you can probably pop into voice. Uh, I don't even really have an inkling as to who probably won that. I'm really not sure. Um... On Bob's side, I think he got something like a 
Louis again looked dead in the middle of 1042. <laughs> yeah, tied to the frame. That, that'd be pretty funny. Um, another reminder, folks. If Bob takes this one down, if this is another 3-0, we will be going on to the community race. Um, again, as I mentioned earlier, all skill well or all skill levels welcome. Um, it's not restricted to people who entered the tournament either. Anybody can join, it's absolutely no issue. Um from the point we know the time that that's going to start, we'll probably get it kicked off within about 10 minutes. Um, also, another thing to point out, before we got this tournament started, we had two community races. One with 21 entrants, I think, and then the other with like 16. Bob won one, and Louis won the other. It's so... <laughs> the telltale signs were there from the beginning. Well, whenever it comes down to frames, it comes down to everything, pretty much. Um, oh, also, I'm going to suggest retime probably will take about five minutes from beginning. Um, just to make certain. Yeah, take me down to retime city, where the runs are good and the luck is shitty. I don't know. Sorry, I was just reading something in Discord and then I felt the need to say that for some reason because I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> uh. So, what else is happening, folks? How's the weather? Yeah, Dot should have it any moment. Dot has pretty much been constantly on standby for these last, like, eight races. Um, so many retimes. Not sure if it was Bob or Walk that added that question mark, but uh, no, I'm gonna say Bob probably, as he has the green dog Frank or Z. Or actually, I, I don't even know what the emote code for that is. Yeah, green dog Frank or Z, I did get it right. Jab, 538 electoral votes. The greatest. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're so close to a result here. I can't wait. Oh my god. I'm excited. I I'm really excited. I really am. It's just been... It's been a, a journey just seeing this whole thing play out. Reminder, this is match 164. I believe we've restreamed over 100. Well, we definitely have restreamed over 100. I believe in terms of restreams, it only missed like three or four. Uh, that's mostly due to like a couple of races being like like stupid AM for everybody. Um, another thing I want to point out is let's have a look. Now, in terms of restreamers, Walk has definitely picked up the majority of restreams. Uh, Matthew Gaming Live as well has picked up a lot. Uh, Sten has taken a few. Uh, Def, as always, has been a big part as well. Uh, Def always putting in a lot of effort. So Def has been doing restreams, and in terms of commentary, I think I've done about 70 of those matches. Something like 68 or 70, I don't know. Um, we have also had Rich and TNT and Mike. Jackson and Aaron, I get the word, Chab, Mooney. How could I forget Mooney? I I'm sorry. Mooney has been such a pleasure. Uh, Bob has joined me for a couple. Uh, Stan as well, he's done a bunch of commentary. Uh, Runner Watcher, Waldo. And of course, big shout outs to Dots. Uh, it's. It's always such a pleasure organizing these tournaments with someone so competent and just so driven. Um, and I can't wait for plenty more. Um, I'm going. I'm going to make a call here and say that sort of thoughts are I oh oh Super Mario World. All right, in no particular order. Um. If my drum roll is is as good as me actually drawing drums in that game that we played the other night, it's gonna be bad. Okay, that probably sounded horrible on that mic as well. Um, but yeah, we have a result, everybody. I hope you're ready. Well, there we have it, folks. Retro Bob with a 1040.93 blue, but a 1041.3. We have our champion, everybody. Big, big congrats to Retro Bob on taking this whole thing down uh, and taking the prize money of $400. This, it just feels so right. It feels so right that Bob has managed to take this down. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled for him. I couldn't be happier. And also seeing Lou in the winner's finals and the grand finals, absolutely perfect. Um, so yeah, and a, a big shout out as well to Louis for second place. We'll be taking $200. And Aaron with the bronze medal taking $150. Um, and of course, a big congrats to everybody else who entered. Um, let me just get the standings up as well because I can give you guys a very quick rundown of our placings. So yes, in first place, is Retro Bob taking down the whole thing? Second, Louis. Third, Area 51. Uh, Stan took down fourth place. That was worth $100, I believe. Um, Silver Star and Umar taking fifth place. Dots are cool. And Paco taking down seventh place. So the eight people that I just read out there will all receive prize money. And a big congrats to Super Mega Dab on taking down the predictions. We'll also win $41 of prize money. So big congrats. Very well done on the bracket predictions. Um, also, uh, in terms of our standings, we have Drams Cat, Fitz, Seathorn, TNT, Dab Stacked, Eric Maddox, Truman, Arius, myself, Chavos Frantic, Moo Mini, Volpe, Xander, Yoshi, Kalko. Delka MX, Dunkel Gotik, Rupert slash, in, slash Infinity, Super Megadav, Carrick, and Zine, and that was our top 32 places. Very well done to everybody. Um, it's just been so amazing. 
I'm hoping that we're going to have Retro Bob in chat very soon here. I would love to hear from him. Also, everybody, uh, do be aware that we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Louis, you're an absolute legend. That is the new character, or that is the new category in the in the six. I don't know. Get in the six. You need to get in the six. Otherwise, it's it's not uh, legit. But yes, folks, as I was going to say, we have a tournament. Or, eh, sorry, the hype is killing me right now. We have a community race. I'm going to say that's starting in 15 minutes. We're going to get the room up for that. Again, everybody's welcome to join. It's going to be 11 exit, no major glitches. Uh, Bob took down our first community race and Louie took down our second. Uh, RetroBob's going to be joining us in chat in just two or three minutes. He probably is... He probably doesn't know what to feel right now. He probably just needs a minute to... just to soak it up a bit. Okay, it seems that... See, see. Yeah, we're going to get the tournament race started at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Walk is probably going to put that just on stream, sort of between Louis' name and my own. Well, hey, community race at 7.30 p.m. EDT. <laughs> Um, we're going to get the room set up for that. Um, we will be running this on Speedruns Live. Yeah. Well, pretty much I'm just calling the 11 exit, no major glitches, wrap up race, the community race, I guess. But, um, oh yes, I'm ready to get destroyed as well. Uh, pretty much guaranteed that Bob or Louie are going to win this, so I can't wait. Yes, folks, that's in 15 minutes. Uh, yep, new major glitches. So new orb, new cloud, new credits warp. I'm talking to you, Furious. New credits warp. Otherwise, you're getting banned. Weezy dot done. A minute and 30 in. We'll know who it is. Okay, we're going to get this race room set up here. You, nice, Furious. That's awesome. Okay, the room is up. Um, okay. Well, it looks like we've got Bob in the chat. Possibly. Possibly just just taking a sec to get ready. Am I here? What is happening? Hey, I'm just <sighs> What a it's, race. <laughs> it's gotta feel amazing. It really does. And it probably is a bit of a misrepresentation that last race was 3-0 and then this race was it was 3-0 because of how close it was. But I mean, you don't get a much better result than that. I'm, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. Nothing I could say would do it justice. So I don't oh. think I don't think there's anything I can that would either. I mean, you look at the leaderboards in most of the big categories. Louis on top. So to see this result is just absolutely stunning to me. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I'm so proud of everybody involved. Um. It's just been just been such a great event. But uh, yeah, I, I really just don't know what to say. It's it's been so good. Um actually that second race where you missed uh the second zip, you still got such an amazing time. So and I, and I was so mad at myself because I literally went for right zip but then missed the second zip. I'm like I never go for right zip. So why like that? Yeah, I pointed that out. I was so surprised to see you go for right-hand side zip. Then, for that to happen in the next one, which, I mean, is... I, I don't know. 
Uh, I'm assuming that that wouldn't affect your setup at all, going for left or right. It's just about comfort. I felt comfortable with it the second time, not as much the other times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just incredible. Um, so I'm trying to think. Was the only races that you lost against Aaron? Yeah, I, I might have lost one against Paco, but yeah, it's just him and it's just Paco and Aaron that I lost races to. I mean, it's it's so obvious to say this, but Louis was on one hell of a roll. Uh, he two nil zero Maverick. He two nil me. Uh, he three nil uh, Silver Star. Then he bumped into you. Um, again, even though you 3 0 him, it was so close. It was within 1.4 in total. Um, then going against Aaron, did a very good job. Got 3 1, and that was after his first race having a death in YI3. So um, <laughs> it was obviously a big worry going up against Louis, but you managed to ace it again. It's just, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. That's what kind of surprised me too, but it, it's different day to day, I guess. But putting up those 41s, 42s against Aaron, I thought, oh boy, I'm in trouble. Yeah, that set of three results was very concerning for you, uh, as you said. Um, and going up against that's just very, very intimidating. But um, again, you've managed to do it, it's just so impressive. But these results aren't that bad either. What did I get? 44, then a 43, and a 42. Yeah, pretty much mirroring, well, close to mirroring what we saw against Aaron, and then very similar again to your races against Louis. So, um, actually, what was your worst time in the tournament? Do you, do you remember? I don't know, but I'm, I don't think I got a single time over 11. I'm, I can't really think of one. Yeah, I, like, I think even in your races against Iron, I think all of them were like sub 1050 as well. I well, think. really, sorry, but what I'm really curious to know in the end is what my average was. It felt like it was it was really good. Yeah, um, Dots has got the spreadsheet with that with all the times. Uh, I'm very interested to see the breakdown of a lot of different stats. Uh, I imagine either you or Louis have got the best race time of the tournament. Um, possibly possibly Louis in his race against Aaron, but I'm not sure. Again, with, with commentating over so many matches, it's hard to remember each one individually. Yeah, this um, sheet's what I got up now. I'm just looking through it real fast. <laughs> also, just a reminder, everybody, we'll be getting this race kicked off in about 10 minutes. Um, that will be going on in Speedruns Live. It's not necessary to use Speedruns Live, but um, it wasn't really an issue last time. Uh, so that room is open. Uh, we will have a bit of time to get ready, but uh, just giving everybody the heads up again. Yeah, and I'll stay to the sideline and be a spectator so somebody else can win. <laughs> <laughs> um, even if you want, you can stay in commentary and commentate over our, oh, well, definitely. our, our two leaders. Yeah, um, I could do that. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Uh, again, just want to point out, uh, with Louis taking second place, he also takes a fresh $200. Did. You take down the, the whole thing, so you get the 400. Uh, that has to feel pretty good. Oh, it really does. Um, but yeah, big shout outs to BK again for sponsoring this. It was just incredibly, incredibly generous and very much appreciated from everybody involved. Uh, also big congrats again to Super Mega Dad for taking down the predictions, uh, getting that $41 prize money. All right, congrats, Ooh. super. The race room is filling up, everybody. Um, this is very exciting. Well, B-squared, if you just want to get perfect zips, all you need to do 
is both Super M37 Smash Ola, obviously. But um, yeah, real quick before we get this community race going, I just want to say thanks to all of the organizers who made this possible and put on a good tournament. And thanks to everyone who played. We had, I think, 83 participants. Yeah, 83. So thanks yeah. to all of them. Pretty um, big field. It, it, was, it was just so much fun uh, seeing everyone come together again. Um, whenever there are Super Mario World tournaments going on, it always feels like just everybody's right there. Uh, we always do so much um, play about uh, in between and just just hanging out with everybody is a lot of fun every time. So I'll definitely miss that we won't have the tournament going on after this, but um, there will be plenty more. So do stay tuned, though it probably will be a little while before we do another one at this point. Um, so I'm going to say probably before GDQ, though I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Can't wait, though. Um, let's see. So I'll just update the title here quickly that we've got the community race going on. <laughs> 